I represent the Southern Cotton Generals Association uh, this coming year as president. Uh, that association is made up of gins uh, throughout the South, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Missouri. Uh, the Generals Association uh, has several functions that they do. Uh, one uh, emphasizes the safety of the employees of the gins. Uh, two is a host for the Mid-South uh, Farm and Gin Show, which is an annual event in Memphis. And three, uh, they do a lot of research work with uh, USDA uh, to promote, to enhance the quality of lint that comes out of gins such as we're sitting in here today. Sitting here in Epstein Gin today, which is a family operated and owned gin. My father and I uh, have been in business here. Uh, prior to him, it would have been my grandfather and great grandfather. There's been a gin at this location for many, many years, prior uh, to the turn of the century, right around the 1900s. Uh, my great-grandfather had a facility here, uh, and we have taken, uh, year after year, we, we do upgrades, we do enhancements. Uh, many, many years ago, uh, the machinery was not quite as wide uh, as it is today. Uh, the stand sitting directly behind me uh, is the same thing that Eli Whitney uh, created to gin cotton. Many years ago, there was probably 20, 25 gins throughout Chico County. Uh, today, there's two left, uh, two, uh, one of the which did not operate in the 20 season, uh, and we did. So we were the only gin in Chico County ginning uh, for the 20 season. We probably are ginning for probably 12 different producers, maybe a few more than that. Uh, the majority of our cotton that's ginned in our facility is tied to our land, uh, and the farmers that farm our land uh, will also gin with us. I am currently serving as the chairman of the Arkansas Ag Department uh, with Wes Ward as secretary. Uh, that, that board uh, is made up as, as an advisory board. Uh, and we have members from all across the state representing every aspect of agriculture from forestry to poultry to pork to beef uh, to row crop agriculture. As far as the hospital board, uh, we are a small uh, rural hospital. We're a critical access facility, meaning that we're limited to 25 patients at midnight. Uh, we're blessed to have a hospital here uh, and uh, I enjoy working on the board, making sure that the hospital meets the needs of our community. I, I have served on the fire department uh, since 1986 or 7 and uh, started as a firefighter and uh, have progressed through the ranks and became chief about five years ago. We cover 281 square miles geographically, uh, which encompasses all of the Lake Village city limits uh, plus those rural areas. I, I was born here, I was raised here, I see the values of, of giving back. Uh, you can't just take, 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 or not do, not do. Uh, you have to give something back, and I think people appreciate that. You see other people step up to do that because of what you do if, if, if you're community oriented or minded. And we've got some very good people in our community that step up when problems arise and things need to happen.